Hello, it's Erin from the Palatine Library. Today I'll be showing you how to paint cherry blossoms with watercolors. For this project you'll need some watercolor paper both to test and do your final project, watercolor paints, something to mix paint in, different size brushes, these are round brushes in three different sizes. Two cups of water, one for clean water, and the other to rinse brushes between colors. And some paper towels or towel. Using quite a bit of water, get some red on your brush first. We'll first practice making petals. Let's try making the next petal lighter. Use your mixing surface and add more water. Oops, I put that petal too far away. I'll grab my paper towel. Touching the edge of a wet petal with more concentrated color causes a very interesting bleed effect. Keep practicing making petals as long as you want. For now, we'll move on to the branches. I'm mixing a branch color using brown with a bit of black. For more realistic branches, allow your brush to skip along the page. You can add shadow to the branches by just touching the edge you want darker. Paint cherry blossom buds using the same technique as the petals, just smaller. The centers of these flowers have darker spots, so you can add some black and purple to your red. There's also some yellow in the center, but you may want to wait till it's more dry. As you can see, I lost some of that dark red color. For your smaller branches, if you're struggling with the large size brush, try a smaller size. Once you feel you've practiced enough, feel free to make your final piece.
here I thought the petals were too dark, so I just took plain water and scrubbed out some color. You can add simple leaves to your branches by pushing your brush all the way to the paper and then lifting quickly. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me!